new tailpole options are under strings, label, cut and fill. For the tailpole definition panel, the tailpoles can be run under the new tailpole panel uh, outside of your apply menu. But in this case here, we're going to go down to our apply menu function and run our new tailpoles from there. So the tadpole advanced tab, we select the style. Uh, we're not, we want to explode our labels. Uh, if we do, we think we can then add them to our, uh, our specter view. Um, a strings model, which are our design strings and their model for the tadpoles. Look at the definition panel. To create one from scratch, you simply just go to the plus button. Add in a, um, a style. In our case here, we can call it, do us some help. Every time you click on one of these little lines or uh, entries, there's a help information down here for you. So we might give the name, drop down to our style here. This is where we're at, our sub style, we're in cut. Then we add in scenarios for uh, single, paired, and triple links. So single links. In this case, would be our interface string. I mean, cut. So it will then tab pole between the interface string and the next adjacent string, regardless of its name. So rather than having all those, we'll go back to the one that we've already prepared. We'll look at the fill scenario. Here we're looking at the IA string, a single string. So again, it's going to tab pole to the next adjacent string, regardless of its name. If we wanted to stop at a certain string, then we would enter a name for the exclude part. Under constraints, we can limit the creation of the tab poles. So if we actually have a, a minimum length here, then of say five meters, then it wouldn't produce tab poles in this congested area. The intervals can be set as a ratio. In this case, here you see it's a ratio, so it uses the 1.5 ratio value multiplied by that to uh, uh, determine the interval for the tab poles. Obviously, if we just go fixed, we can write out the file to the tab poles files and recalc our road. So the tab poles are now at a standard fixed interval. While we're in the fill area, we're also looking at the median part. So the median is made up of paired strings. So we're looking at the paired string MDR down the center and the MV1 on one side and the um, uh, EPRL on the other. So they're just basically two strings. The two strings are uh, adjacent. So the, the option here for two strings is if, they're, uh, if it's free, it will uh, always uh, tab pole. Um, if you say yes, it will only tab pole if there's nothing in between the two strings. And obviously no means it won't tab pole at all. That's what our road looks like in fill. So we can use our new favourites, our view favourites for positioning, and go to the cut area. So the cut area again has single strings. So the IA will interface or tab pole down to the, the string regardless of its name. So in this case here, it'll go from IA to the edge of pavement string, and then suddenly when it gets to here, it'll uh, drop down to this ICL string. On the other side of the road, however, We've got a exclusion on the right-hand side, so the IBR string, where that string exists, it will not tab pole from the IA down to the string, because we've got a special situation for that. On the paired strings, on this side here in cut, uh, we're looking at the uh, the edge of pavement string or the edge of um, uh, shoulder string, and a uh, the uh, batter, the IBL. So a small little battle line there is being uh, ticked or tab pole using uh, the paired option. On the other side of the road, it's a triple string, a little bit more complicated. So it's looking at a, an IA string, uh, and a, uh, a string in the middle here called IBR, and also then your EPR string, your edge of pavement or edge of uh, shoulder. So basically, uh, we're looking at the, the slope generated between these, two, these three strings. So we look at the deflection between uh, IA and IBR and IBR and the EPR string, uh, and if it is 
greater than uh, five degrees or five percent, uh, it will produce the batters from one string to the other, uh, as shown. And if it's less than that, it will just go from the first string to the third string. So we're going to look at that in our perspective view. We're using our favourites. So you can see here where the, where the batter slope is actually uh, uh, different here. It was, it was greater than 5% difference between the two. It's now gone between the three of them. Well, here it's just gone from the inner base down to the uh, edge of shoulder. The symbols are just specified down here. Obviously the style and the colour for your symbol. The tadpole definition is a big step forward, but also should be used in conjunction with a good naming convention inside 12D.